Are you looking for more power in your prayer life? Are you looking to walk in the power of God in your Christian journey? Well, Jesus had the answer when he said to the apostles in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 8, he said, and you shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit will come upon you and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the world. My friend, the power of the Holy Spirit is what we need in the churches around the world today. What made the apostles do great exploits? What were the secrets that they had that let them be men and women of great anointing and great power. I know that some of you are thinking that it was because they had the knowledge of scripture and they did. And some of you thought because they were Jewish and they were. But my friend, what made them great, it was what made the Son of God, Jesus, great. He was the Holy Spirit. When He came upon them on the day of Pentecost, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit came. They were in an upper room, 120 of them. And the Holy Spirit came as a rushing mighty wind and as a cloves of fire. And from being men, that were afraid to confront what was happening in those days in Jerusalem and from men hiding in the upper room. The Bible says that when the Holy Spirit came upon them, they were turned into a different man. They were turned into men that were bold and spoke the power of the Word of God boldly. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what happens when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. You know, I get excited when I speak about my best friend, the Holy Spirit. Oh my God, there is no other friend in this world greater than the Holy Spirit. I go all over the world and I preach the gospel and I tell them the goodness of God, but every crusade and every meeting that I have anywhere in the world, I speak about the Holy Spirit. You know, a few months ago, the Lord ministered to me. I was coming back from one of my crusade in India and the Lord said to me, I want you to take and go and tell my people that the key to the end time is found in the Holy Spirit. This is what made the apostles great. This is what made the church of the book of Acts great. It was not the Jewishness. It was not the synagogue. It was because the Holy Spirit came upon them. And as I said, they were changed and transformed into another man. That's what happened. Let me tell you, there was a story in the book of First Samuel chapter 10. You know, right before Saul became king, the Bible says that, that he, his father's house, had, had lost two donkeys. And Saul, young Saul, he set out with his servant to retrieve and to find the donkey. They could not find it. And the servant said unto Saul, let us go to a city where there's a man called Samuel. He is a prophet. He is a seer. And he can tell us where to find a donkey. To make a long story short, they went to the city of Samuel and Samuel met Saul, anointed Saul to be king. And then this is what Samuel said to Saul. He said, look, today, when you leave me, you're going to have three experiences. He said, the first one, you're going to come across the grave of Rachel, my God. And then you're going to continue and then you're going to come across three men. One will be carrying three uh, sheep. Another one will be carrying three loaves of bread and another one will be carrying a bottle of wine. They're going to give you two of the bread and you're going to continue to walk and then you're going to come to the mountain of the garrison of the Philistines and through that or in that vicinity you're going to find and come across some prophets that will be singing and worshiping with instruments he said but when you come in the midst of the prophets the spirit of the Lord will come upon you 
and you shall be turned into another man. And that's exactly what happened with Saul. The Holy Spirit came upon Saul and prepared him to be king uh, uh, over Israel and he was changed. That's what happened to you and I. When the Holy Spirit comes upon us, we receive power to do miracles, to walk in the knowledge of God. The scriptures become more clear to us. We get understanding and we are able to walk in the power of the resurrection of Jesus. Do you want your life to change? Do you want your ministry to change? Do you want power in your prayer? The secret, my friend, is found in that person, that person called the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Blessed be his name. And that's what I do all over the world. I speak about this person, my best friend, the Holy Spirit. I will be coming perhaps to some of your cities in the future. Those of you that are watching me right now from Pakistan, I will be in your country in September. You can log on to our website at whiministries.com and there you will see the city. But I am coming by the grace of God to Pakistan. I will be uh, in Karachi, I will be in Lahore, and also I will be in Sialkot, there in Pakistan. The dates, you can retrieve them from my website at whiministries.com. God bless you. I will see you in Pakistan. And those of you from another country, I will see you soon because God, I'm sure, will send me there to speak of the goodness of God and of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. This is your brother, Pastor Ed Citronelli, telling you that the Holy Spirit is alive and because of the blood of Jesus, the best for you is yet to come. God bless you. I love you.